Hi, I'm Rachel Barton Pine. And I'm Sylvia. And we're going to tell you all about piece number one from Music by Black Composers, Violin Volume 1. It's Feeling the Pulse by Juan Ogunde from 2014. But first, we're going to tell you a little bit about the composer. Juan Ogunde is a composer and performer who was born in 1961 in London, England. His parents are of Yoruba ethnic heritage from the West African country of Nigeria. His musical style combines sounds from classical music, African instruments, rhythms, and pop music. And if you want to learn more about him, there's a longer biography in the sheet music book. And if you want to get these bullet points that we just read for you to do your own spoken presentations, they're right there on the resources section of musicbyblackcomposers.org along with the slide that you just saw. This piece works really well if you do it in the upper half. And you can learn the rhythms and the bow distribution at the same time by using some words. Long, long, little, long, long, little, long, long, little, long, slow bow. That's the first four bars. Let's do that together. Ready, go. Long, long, little, long, long, little, long, long, little, long, slow bow. Now we're going to play it, but we're not going to play it with the actual notes because that's too many things to think about at once. Let's just use an open string. Might as well use the D string since it's in the key of D. All right, can you show us, Sylvia? Ready, play. Long, long, little, long, long, little, long, long, little, long, slow bow. Good, and the, the whole challenge with the slow bow is not to go past the middle, even though it's that half note is twice as long as the quarters. And if you look at your music, you'll see that measures 9, 10, 11, 12, and measures 17, 18, 19, 20 are the exact same rhythmic pattern. So by learning the rhythm of the first four bars, you already know 12 bars of the piece. All right, now let's say measures six, um, five, six, seven, and eight. You can put your violin down. All right, so it goes long, 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 very slow lift and set. Ready, go. Long, 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 very slow lift and set. Okay, let's try that on our open D again. Ready, play. Long, 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 very slow lift and set. Great. Okay, and those four bars are the same as um, measure 13, 14, 15, 16. So now we know everything except the last four bars of the piece. But before we go on, let's play the first eight bars all put together. All right, can you do that on the open D? Ready, play. Long, long, little, long. Thank you, Sylvia. Okay, so the last four bars have a really fun rhythm. You might look at this piece and think that it's syncopation if you look at measure 22. One, two, and three, and. But in fact, it's, well, look at the key signature. It's six, eight. Wait a sec. I, everything we've done thus far sounds like three, four. How come the piece says six, eight? Well, that's because of the violin two part, the accompaniment, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, but it's a very typical West African rhythm to have um, going back and forth between one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, one, two. So you've got this kind of one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Uh, basically, it's not syncopation. Um, we'll get to that later in the book with some of the 20th century American pieces, but it's just a juxtaposing of measures that are in three and measures that are in two. It sounds complicated if you try to think about it mathematically. One and two and three and one and the two and the... Um, but if you just feel it, then actually it's not hard at all. So why don't you set your violin down, and we're going to clap the rhythm. I was discussing with Sylvia whether we should, you know, say strawberry ice cream or chocolate cupcake, uh, and then she had the idea. What was your idea? Chocolate pizza. And I was like, what's a chocolate pizza? <laughs> is that a pizza that you put chocolate on, or is it a pizza made out of chocolate? What is a chocolate pizza? Well, a chocolate pizza is basically um, a pizza um, with a, you, you know, dry wheat cake thing. Oh, like waffles yes, for the like crust? Yes, waffles for the crust, um, smeared all over with chocolate. And then 
you can put different like kinds of candy, like marshmallows and so on, as toppings. Wow, that sounds amazing. And maybe you okay. could even add some um, sorbet or something as a... Oh, as the, the cheese? <laughs> or tomato sauce. Yeah. Okay, well, let's clap that. Ready, go. Chocolate pizza. Chocolate pizza. Chocolate pizza. Chocolate pizza. Okay, so it might be a little boring to just say it over and over again. So why don't we just do it with a twinkle? Um, let's see. We'll do twinkle in D since the piece is in D. So here's our first note. Ready, go. Chocolate pizza. 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 Okay, well that's our basic three plus two, which is gonna come in a lot of other pieces. By the way, not just West African music, but also Latin American music, because of course, when people came from different African countries over to different areas of Central and South America, well, they, they brought their music with them. Um, so this rhythm is a little bit more than just the one, two, three, one, two, because it has that extra eighth note. So right now I'm feeling the pulse. Um, so why don't you sing it for us, Sylvia? Right now I'm feeling the pulse. Yeah, if, if you tr again, if you try to count it, it can be very confusing, but if you just feel it, then it's no problem at all. Ready, go. Right, right now, now I'm feeling, feeling the, pulse. the pulse. That's it. Okay, and now let's try that on our violin. Ready, play. <laughs> And actually, speaking of bow distribution, we don't have enough bow for that last note if we stay in the upper half, do we? So we probably better find a way to get a little lower in our bow. Let's break it down really slowly. So long, long, long. And then maybe this one we can travel down lower. Stay at the lower half. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then we've got enough bow. Let's try that. Ready, play. Try to get even lower on that up bow. But then stay in the lower half, right? Long. There we go. Okay, so now let's get into the notes. Um, let's play the first phrase and make sure that your first finger is low enough on that last note of the first eight bars. One, two, three, ready, play. Okay, and now this one is going to be a little tricky because we've got low twos and high twos with the C natural and C sharp. And if you're holding fingers down, you can hold your two down in measures 13 to 14. Let's actually isolate that first. Can you show us that? That's the idea. Okay, so starting at measure nine. violin part through for you and if you're working on the second violin part you could play that along with us or you could play the first violin part along with us. Ready? We'll play it a little bit under tempo. One, two, three, ready, go. distribution at the end. Okay, well you can step off camera for a minute, Sylvia, while I talk about the violin two part. Now remember we were talking about how there's, this is actually in six eight and there's lots of measures in three and lots of measures in two. Um, and so I'm going to actually play it through for you and tell you which is which. One, two, three, one, two, three. Ah. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one, two, 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 one, two, three, one, two,
brain twister, but making sure that you have that feeling of the pulse, uh, not thinking of it as syncopation. Can't emphasize that strongly enough. All right, now I'm gonna play it without trying to talk and play at the same time, in case you wanna play along with me, or if you wanna use this as an accompaniment when you're playing the first violin part along with me. Seems like it could be complicated when the first violin part is in three and the second violin part is in two, but actually it just kind of jams along and it's really no problem at all, which we'll show you in a sec. But here's the second violin part by itself. One, two, three, ready, play. <laughs> so you hear how the parts sound together, I want to talk about actually the most important thing of all. We've discussed bow distribution, we've discussed the rhythm, the notes, but what is the character of this piece? What kind of emotion do you think it is, Sylvia? Well, one time mommy actually asked me that question and I and I played the piece with my eyes closed, closed and I sort of imagined palm trees on, on, on like, sandy ground and people dancing, reading books under them, um, rocking around, exploring, like a very cheerful sort of environment where everyone felt at ease and happy. Wow, that's a really great image. Okay, well, when you're learning the piece, you might have a different image. There's no right or wrong and everybody has a different personality, but I think we can all agree that it's definitely a happy piece. <laughs> all right, so here we go, performance time. for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'd love your feedback. Our plan is to do a video about every single piece in volume one. Um, so I look forward to the next one and hope you enjoy learning Feeling the Pulse by Juan Ogunde.